Let's create a nice game type effect that you might see on a video game. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab the type tool here. And let's choose a greenish color. And then we're just going to click in here and we're going to type in the word games. With a Z of course. And we'll just increase the size of this. So we can see what we're doing here. And this font here we used is called Battlefield, and this is another freeware font that you could probably find if you search around online. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to start off by adding a stroke to this. And we need to make sure we got the stroke on. And we're going to grab like a darker green. Let's increase the size of the stroke. And we're going to change the position to, let's do center. This way we can get it a little bit thicker without it touching. Now what we want to do is we don't want to actually add a bevel. But we're just going to add a bevel just to the, like right now you can see the bevel is affecting all the type. What we want to do is we just want to attach it to the stroke. So we can actually change the style here to stroke emboss and then when I hit that notice now when we in play with the depth and the size that that's now affecting just the stroke see that and what we want to do now is we want to actually separate the stroke from the solid color in there let's just drop the let's just play around with the size just a little bit more just get it just right there we go and then what I'm going to do is we're just going to use an inner shadow. We're just going to click on inner shadow there. And notice by using this inner shadow, what it's doing is it's just giving a little shadow on the inside there, which is separating the outside area from the inside area. Now what we want to do in here is we're going to add a little bit of a, a little bit of a texture in here just to make it look more interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose on pattern overlay. And let's click on the patterns and we'll see we've got some different patterns here that we can choose from. Let's choose this one here. This is kind of a cloudy looking one. It's kind of interesting. And we want to change the blend mode from normal. We could try to multiply and notice that's giving us a texture and it's still allowing that color to show through. We could drop the opacity down a little bit so it's not so texture heavy. There we go. That's kind of looking interesting. The next thing we want to do is add an inner glow. And by choosing this inner glow, it's going to give us a neat effect. Let's increase the opacity all the way up. And then we're just going to play with the choke a little bit. And we're also going to play with the size. There we go. Just when we just get it showing in the edges there. Let's see if we can do this without making the size too big. There we go. You can see we're starting to get this really interesting effect. Let's change this to more of a brightish greeny yellow kind of a color. There we go. We got this nice lime green. And see how it kind of puts that little bit of a glow in there. And then finally what we're going to do is we're just going to add a drop shadow on here. And we can just click outside and position our drop shadow how we like. And we're just going to increase the size just to soften it a little bit. And here we're getting this really neat kind of a effect that you might see for a, uh, for a video game. Something you might use on the box of a video game or something like that. And let's have a look on the background. Let's just give it a nice green to... Let's give it a green to dark green. Let's do a light green to a dark green background here. Just to make things look a little more interesting. So we're just going to do foreground to background on the background here. There we go. And that allows that to show through a little bit. And you can see we've got this really cool little type effect going on here.